What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be looking at how to do a latch and unlatch circuit and just a general sealing circuit with the Click Automation Direct software. And so as I open this up, I'm just kind of a review. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be connecting to the PLC and I'm going to start over. I'm not going to use what we did before. So um, I'm going to do don't read the project because I'm just going to override it. So what we're going to do today is our sealing circuit. If you have any questions about the sealing circuit, I encourage you to go back and watch my Alan Bradley video on this. But basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to include our stop, our start, and then once we push the start, it's going to run our motor, which is going to be representative of our red light, and it's going to continue to run until we hit our stop. Just for a review, our red push button is normally closed our green push button is normally open so what we need to do for this program is we need to add in two normally open contacts the first one is going to be our input one which is our normally closed so I'm going to go in here and want to call that our stop So there's our normally closed stop. So this will be closed all the time since our push button is normally closed. We're going to add in our start. And that's on input two. And then we're going to add in our output enable which is going to represent a motor running which is going to be our red light so which is output one we'll just call it motor to represent a motor okay so there is our basic configuration now technically if i downloaded this right now it would still act as a jog because our stop is closed and then every time I hit our start, it'll operate our motor. But when I let off our start button, motor goes off, right? The only thing different from this and what we did in the last video is that it has a stop now. Here is where Automation Direct is more uh, complex than Alan Bradley, and that's branch. It would be really nice if we could just click this and hit a branch and it would bring down a branch so I could put the motor in parallel with the, underneath the start. It does not. So what we have to do is if you look over here at the top, right now I'm on cursor. See my cursor. I can go to line now and it gives you, it's so complicated, it gives you instructions every time you do this unless you select don't display. But what you do is you can see on the instructions here is you click the point that you want to go down, which brings in a blue arrow, you click that, then you got the option to either go down again, right or left, and then you click over to that side that you want to go on. Okay, so again, it automatically brings in the, the branch here. We want to go over, I'm going to click the end of this arrow, and then go again. Okay, so let me show you that again, because this is, again, the most complicated part of this whole process. Okay, so I'm going to go align, and wherever I want to click, I select there. From this point, I just click the end of the arrow. It gives me options. If I want to go here, I click that arrow, so on and so forth. I'm going here, going back here from my branch. Okay. Again, I don't know why they make that so complicated, but it is. Now I select cursor, and then I'm going to select the branch, and then I add my X, my normally open. I almost called it XIC. So I add my normally open there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my motor. So I go to my Y. There's my motor. And I hit OK. All right. So there's my seal in circuit. Okay. Again, other than the branch, everything's pretty straightforward. Now, don't forget, though, we have, we're not done yet. We have to add our end to our program on the rung below so that we know that that's the, the final program. Now, for some reason, my output disappeared. So let me go in. That was weird. Let me go in and 
add that back in. There we go. Okay, I must have accidentally deleted that. I don't know. Um, all right, so now at this point, we're going to write the project to the PLC. So again, it didn't save the password situation. So I'm going to go in there real quick, select disable password. Now I'll write the project to the PLC. And I'm going to fast forward this part because this is slow. Okay, so now we are online. We are running. Notice our stop is blue. That's because, again, that's a normally closed. And then I'm going to hit my start. And when I hit my start, you're going to see that my red light comes on, representing my motor running, and it's going to stay on until I hit my stop button. Okay, so we're going to test this real quick. I'm going to hit my start. You can see my red light is off. I hit start. You can see it come on in my program. It's going to stay on. I'm going to let off on this. Notice my red light stays on because of this seal in circuit right here. My motor's in parallel, and so when I energize this, that's how seal in circuit works. It also energizes this input and continues to give us a path even though it starts low. Now I'm going to go in and hit my stop. And when I hit my stop, you're going to notice that's going to open up, and my red light goes out. Now I. All I have to do is just briefly touch that start. So I'm just going to cycle it just enough to start my motor. Then I come back and hit my stop. So that is a simple seal in circuit. Let's do something that has the same outcome, but using latch and unlatch. So they don't call it latch and unlatch in Automation Direct, they call it set and reset, okay? But it's the same thing. So I'm going to come in and I'm, I'm going to uh, delete my end here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an extra rung. And I'm also going to change this from an output to a set. I'm going to use the same output motor. Because you're going to see it's going to operate exactly the same on our PLC. Okay, so there's my set now. Notice when I selected that and changed the instruction, it automatically replaced that. I'm going to come down here and do a reset. And then I'm going to choose the same tag. This is the only time that you use the same tag for the same outputs. Okay, is for latch and unlatch, or in this case, set and reset. So I'm going to use the same one. The reason for that is because it basically marries these two instructions. And you're going to see that in just a second. So now I'm going to bring my stop down, but there's going to be one little issue with this stop. So the issue is, since it's a normally closed, if I use a normally open contact, then that's going to be closed all the time and it'll, it won't set. So let's just watch that happen. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to delete my stop. And I'm also going to delete my uh, branch here around start because all I need is start here. But this can be a little aggravating. Okay, so what I'm going to do is come up here and hit erase. And notice it kind of gives you instructions on the other two, right? So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to erase oops, this. Okay, again, you click in your arrows here. Okay, now I select. I use my cursor and I select that and just hit delete. But do you see how I had to delete that branch? Again, the branches are really bizarre the way they do that. And I wish that you could um, move things a little easier, but it's not lined up, but it'll work. Okay. So let's go home real quick. And I'm going to write this and notice that I automatically move my start back where I was trying to put it this, um, a while ago. So I'm going to write my program. So we got an error, rung three. Oh, I forgot the end statement. Okay, so I'm glad I did that. Couldn't figure out my problem, but I forgot to put in my end statement here. 
Okay, now let's write to it. Okay, so we're downloaded to the PLC. Notice right off the bat, my stop is energized. My reset is energized, okay? So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to start this and watch what happens in the program. Notice my red light never comes on because if you look here, this never resets, okay? So what it, one thing I can do to get it to come on is I can push my stop, which as you can see, this de-energizes. And then when I hit my start, now my red light comes on until I let off on my stop. So I wanted to show you that because that's the biggest difference between latch and unlatch or set and reset is that if you have a normally closed, you have to do the opposite in order to get this to work here. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to replace this with a X or normally closed. And I'm gonna choose my stop. And I'm gonna delete this one. Now again, you'll see when I download this or write this to the PLC, this is gonna move for me. Right project, there it moved over. I'm gonna fast forward this again. So when I push my start button now, my red light comes on, it stays on. Notice my stop is not energized. It'll turn off whenever I hit my stop though and watch that normally close there. See it's energized, resets energized, I let it off. Reset holds because technically the way that this is set up with this set and reset is that it's set like a JK flip-flop but it's going to sit there and hold until I hit my start again. And then when I hit stop and you can see that this operates just like my ceiling circuit. One of the issues that I don't like using latch and unlatch or set and reset for motors is what I just showed you with the stop. If that reset is held in place, held high, then you'll never start your motor. And so it could be a safety issue. So I, I'm kind of old fashioned, but I always like the regular ceiling circuit that we showed you at first, but you can see how you can use both of these to accomplish the same task. All right, so hopefully this has helped you out. Uh, if you want to compare this to Alan Bradley, I'll link the Alan Bradley latch and unlatch video down below. And if you have any questions, be sure and leave them in the comments below. Have a good day.